Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with another video. Uh, I thought today, since I'm off this week, I would make a video a card room update slash V4 video. Uh, been buying a lot of collections up. I've uh, just got a lot of cards everywhere. I do have a lot of stuff organized, but as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff that is not organized. Um, just kind of just giving you an update idea, uh, and also to uh, give myself a record of progress, if you will. <laughs> um, It has been a good probably four or five months since I've done a a room video. But if anybody is new to my channel, then they, this might be the first time actually seeing it. My last count, I had close to 400 binders. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've surpassed that now. Um, I rotated my binders also, just out of concern that, um, cards might be getting damaged. I look at them quite often. I didn't see any damage, but, um, just to play it on the safe side. This is my stack of shiny stuff that I like to trade or sell. Uh, I do not collect the shiny stuff. Um, sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy here. It's my gloves, glove collection. And that's like, this is all football, or baseball and football. And then I've added shel shelving. And you can see I've got stacks of cards sitting all over the place working on various uh, projects. Just kind of running out of room that's the one problem us binder guys run into is a uh, room because binders do take up a lot of room um, however boxes as I will show you here shortly a lot of these sets are from the 90s and 2000s I didn't collect then Actively collect, I should say. Um, this is all basketball. My tops, runs. Uh, there's hoops, runs. There's flare, basketball runs. And there's uh, upper deck. There's some non sports stuff. And I've started doing the Donruss sets. Uh, I made room today. This will be where more binders go. Like you can see, I'm pretty much at capacity there. Up here are hockey sets and Allen and Ginther. It's mis miscellaneous different sets. Um... These are my hockey sets. These are my run of the 70s baseball sets again. Second sets. Let me get some more 90s basketball, baseball, football, just kind of all mixed in. Uh, same with down here in the bottom. And then. Those last three are 77, 78, 79 top sets baseball again. 
Those are all empties. That's kind of where I've been storing them. This is where I keep my hockey doubles or future sets. And this is kind of my supply area. My tin sport collection. That's where I keep my labels and my uh, my good sleeves and stuff. I recycle a lot. I have several boxes of sleeves and plastic uh, pages and stuff to, to reuse. Um, these are uh, just different doubles and extra cards to go through yet to sort. This whole shelf is basically for that purpose. Um, inside here I'll start low we got these are all my sticker sets from different the different sports that did stickers I don't have them all some are complete some aren't those are my vintage tins uh, different products from back in the day then this is an addition I just did today I just kind of moved these off of one shelf and put them on another. These are all football sets, second sets, new sets. Um, a lot of it from the 90s and 2000s. There's doubles. And then up here are my baseball sets. And you can see what number they are. And I don't like actively seek out these sets. Uh, just when I get collections, check all the checklists, see what I need. If I have too many doubles on one particular set, I'll just start another set. Um, I do trade with people. I do sell to people. If people need cards, I do take them out of these boxes too. It's not like they're off limits or anything. Um, I've always kind of been that way and then I just just make a new checklist those are all just empty boxes some vintage sporting equipment empty boxes back there and then out here I have these all separated in these are like baseball upper deck baseball Bonneris tops and then the football, which I've not broken those down into the different sets yet. Um, my vintage Star Wars collection. And just a hodgepodge of other things. Back when I was growing up, what is this, 85? We didn't have the plastic sheets for the big cards, so... We relied on like photo album pictures and you can see just multiples of the same guys. Hall of Famers or you know, non Hall of Famers. These are all my extras of those. Um it's my workstation. There's cards all in that in that tub all along the floor here. All around <laughs> this side here I just pulled all of these cards out today out of binders it's late 70s early 80s football a little bit of baseball and this is where I write all my notes keep my scissors and pens and all that good stuff and you can see I got a sorting tray there and there's another sorting tray there and I have a sorting tray downstairs and I've also got another I don't know 25 30 boxes of cards downstairs in the living room that need to come up here so but yeah this I just wanted to give you a, an idea of what I've been working on and down here is basketball doubles 
That's our dog paws. Um, these are basketball doubles. Or I started out marking everything just doubles. And then as I build sets, I pull out of these boxes. Or if somebody's looking for something in particular, I pull from those boxes. These are uh, baseball starter sets um, from different years. And then up here, these are complete sets. Most of this is the 90, late 80s and 90s. Well, 80. 80, 81, couple 81s, you can see the multiples of them, like a lot of us have, my heritage doubles, um, I don't know if I showed all this, but these are, you know, 80s, 90s, baseball doubles, and then there's a little bit of basketball mixed in there, these are all my Donra sets, See some heritage sets. Those are uh, probably football sets, if I remember correctly. These are all cards that need to be put away or built. Let's see. Something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a score of football. These are my. Uh, other projects I've been working on, these are uh, 70s cart. they're really nice, 72 tops, another set I've been working on, I'm just not um, putting them in books this time, they're just going to be in, in hard sleeves, um, they're just really sharp cards, really nice, uh, but yeah, get some Slurpee coins in the back there. Mazarowski, uh, this is Mazarowski, uh, one of the hot dog cards. So, but yeah, that's that's what I've been working on here. Um, so if you've been with me this long, make a mental note, and maybe in a couple months I'll do an updated video, and hopefully this mess will be a little neater. So that's all I got for now, guys. Have a good day. Thanks.